Hey, just a tiny little information for you today. How can you understand someone's patience for you until you know their rage? Think about that for a minute. What are they being patient from? Do you even know? Do you know how annoying that way can be to others? If you know how annoying others are, like, to you, and then how you handle that, if you, if you handle it with patience, you will know what I'm saying exactly and you will say yes it is a great deal of patience to deal with things that I don't like and if you do not treat those things with patience then you have no idea what God's grace is and how it works for you and if you do think you know that but you don't give it to others you don't fully understand it you don't fully understand how much you can hurt the Lord by not being patient with his children that are not you because you're not the only one who is his child you're not the only precious in his little group all my children are precious to me I don't know about you and I got some that trust my patience and they are not less precious to me and they're learning and they're failing at learning and they're succeeding at other things like priority wise if you are you don't go exercise the day after you get out of the hospital there's proper time and procedure for everything under the sun. So some people are wounded so deeply you don't even know how that feels. And so how can you judge them? Because you you don't you don't have a clue what they're going through, what they went through, and what they're fighting off every second of their life. You don't necessarily know what it is to take each thought captive. Literally, every single thought. Is this ha does this thought belong in the presence of the Most High God who lives in our hearts? Because we invited him there and he said yes. That's the covenant he made with us. And that makes your heart the garden that he's, you know, working on and purifying and making into a beautiful garden. But there's like, just like the movie The Shack, there's poisonous things in the garden. If you put them next to, you know, another thing, then it actually is some sort of like medicine so there's a reason for everything there's a reason why people act the way they do there's a reason why you don't understand people and it's not for you to understand sometimes it's for you to yield to someone else who does understand and there are a lot of people out there thinking they know exactly what to do with every situation and you just can't God knows what to do with every situation because they're his those are his people those are his precious children you don't give the oldest the same stuff that the littlest needs because that would be ridiculous. You'd be clapping for the when he walks across the floor in the kitchen. That's ridiculous. But the baby, the baby needs someone to clap for him while he's walking across the floor in the kitchen. So understand that you don't understand and have that grace with you. Learn this grace for yourself and for everyone else around you because you can do so much damage by being the only one that knows all the things. Okay, love you, bye.